So hi Flosstube, this is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Sunday, February 3rd at approximately 4.30 p.m. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, everybody. Um, my husband and I are not football fans at all. We don't watch football. We don't really follow any teams. Um, but I know a lot of people out there are um, watching football today. Uh, I believe the Rams are playing. That's about all I know about the Super Bowl. Um, I don't really care to watch it, so today is going to be, well, the rest of the rest of today I am planning on stitching some. I have the hands-on design year of celebrations February to finish, even though it, it's already February. I should already have that up, but um, I have that to finish. So today my local needle workshop, Cross My Heart here in Columbus, Ohio, had their Super Bowl Sunday sale. And they have it, it's the only Sunday of the year that they are open. And they were open from 10 to 4 today, so they are closed now. But I stopped in there probably about 10, 45, 11 o'clock this morning and did a little shopping. I walked out of there about an hour, hour and a half later, um, several dollars poorer, and uh, got a couple of things that I needed. So, um... I just mentioned the hands-on design year of celebrations. So many of you have seen several people working on these. So this is the January through December with the additional two patterns for the Canadian stitchers. Um, so they don't have to stitch the um, Thanksgiving and the Independence Day for July um, because they're different. The holidays are different in Canada. But um, anyway, so I had some extra flosses that I needed to get for this. Um, some of the specialty flosses um, didn't come in. I had ordered, I have a little story about this. So I, I had ordered um, some of the missing flosses from everythingcrossstitch.com. And the night that I ordered it, I was just not really quite feeling well. And the shipping address that I had put in was the wrong shipping address. So, I didn't realize it until I got the text message notification that my package was being delivered that day. And I looked at the tracking for it, and I was like, that's not my address. Oh my gosh. So, I sent a message to Everything Cross Stitch. I said, hey, by the way, I noticed this is going to the wrong address. If you guys happen to get this package back in the mail, please reach out. To me I need to update the shipping address because for some reason I put in the wrong shipping address so like instead of it coming to my house which starts with 35 it was going to a house that starts 43 and I don't know how I messed up that address so bad but I did and <laughs> anyway about a week later um, so last weekend um, everything cross stitch uh, emailed me their customer service said emailed me and they said we've got your package back what address would you like us to send it to so they shipped it back out very nice customer service pardon the burp a little bit I've been drinking soda my drink of choice today is Kroger real sugar soda um, we had a party for all our friends last night a little Christmas party that we were supposed to have two weeks ago during snowmageddon but we canceled it and moved it back well we didn't cancel it we postponed it so our party was last night, so we have like a cooler full of soda over there. And uh, anyway, so we're just trying to get through some of it. Plus, we have a lot of leftover f uh, finger food. Like we have meatballs that one of our friends had made, and we have buffalo chicken dip. So we're not watching the Super Bowl, but we're going to be having Super Bowl finger food kind of dinner tonight, which is pretty good because I like buffalo chicken dip, but we have a lot of stuff left over, cookies and cheeses and, you know, snacks and stuff um, that we're going to be eating. But anyway, um, so I did get the um, Everything Cross Stitch order in finally. Um, one of the colors was back ordered. I don't know if I'll get this. My um, It's Weeks Dye Works is it weeks? It's baby spinach. Um, I don't know if it's gassed general general art sampler threads. It might be gassed um, baby spinach, but either weeks dye works or baby or gassed baby spinach is has been on back order, and I don't think anybody has it. But um, so I got the um, 
some of the colors of flosses that I needed. Like, um, I, I still haven't found Meek's Dye Works with chocolate, but I've um, been switching that out in this pattern for um, with pecan or pecan or pecan or however you say it. Pecan, 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 whatever. The tomato, tomato, potato, to pot, potato. Let's just call the whole thing off. No, I'd rather not because it's exciting. Um, anyway, so I've been using pecan, pe pecan. <laughs> <That I don't, laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I've been using. I'm not drunk. I haven't eaten. I haven't drank any alcohol today. I had a little bit last night. The first one I've had in a little while. But no, I'm not drunk today. <laughs> it's Super Bowl Sunday, but I'm not drinking yet. Well. I probably will might have one cider for dinner, but I don't know yet. Anyway, so I am um, switching out uh, Weeks Dye Works Pecan for Weeks Dye Works Swiss Chocolate because uh, Cross My Heart didn't have Swiss Chocolate in at the time that I was buying the threads to do January. So I'm probably just going to continue using Pecan for Swiss Chocolate because I haven't found it yet. But um, I did get the floss for um, the first four months, January through, um, the missing ones, uh, basically February through April. And today at Cross My Heart for their Super Bowl sale, I actually picked up, um, some more of the colors I needed for it. Plus a few other things. So here's my cross stitch bag. This is my shopping bag from Cross My Heart and it's got stuff in it. Um, I did need another Q-snap. So I went with an 11 by 11 Q-snap. Um, because the sale, everything in the store was 20% off today, um, I had considered actually buying a 17 by 17 set of Q-snaps too, um, just so I can make an 11 by 17. But um, yeah, I kind of hold held off because I was already buying a few other things. Um, but I did get another Q-snap 11 by 11 to start with um, another project. So I get all all the specialty fibers that I, that I ordered. Some of these specialty fibers, a couple of these, are going for um, a kit. Or a couple of uh, patterns that I picked up today. Oh, and I did buy another thing of needles. I uh, These are my preferred go-to needles, the giant John James Tapestry Petites. I like them because they're short. These are size 28 because I use them on, I use, I use a lot of 32 count linen in a higher um, or 28 count and this these are just small enough um, I do have some of uh, Pat's favorite needles to try but when I compare them to John James um, they're a little longer and I'm not so sure I've been using these tapestry petite needles for so long that I'm not really sure that I'm gonna be able to get over the additional needle length um, I'm just not really sure because these are these are my go-to needles and um, just not really sure that I can get by or get around the extra length in some of the other needles that I've got to try. I do have some Pat's needles. Now that being said, I would really like to try some of those um, ballpoint needles, the um, Easy Guide needles. Um, I do pin stitch, so I'm not sure how that's going to affect my doing pin stitch on my projects, but um, yeah, I would like to get some Easy Guide needles. I don't have any yet. Um, but I've also heard that actually you can still pin stitch using those. All right, so I think I got all my specialty floss out of the bag. Yes, I did. So some of the, let me slide this over a little bit so it's a little bit away from me so I can adjust myself in my seat. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing my Wyoming Cowboys shirt this is the only like jersey that i have and um it crossed my heart <laughs> if you wore your jersey you get you got another little coupon today to um if you wore any kind of sports shirt whether it be you know any sport whatsoever they were really hoping that i'd wear a roller derby shirt but i ended up with my wyoming cowboy shirt on um i went to school in wyoming for three years and um this is really the only kind of footballish team that I really kind of care about a little bit. Um, 
I'm not I'm not a huge like football fan or basketball fan really per se, but um, I do like the Wyoming Cowboys. I went there for three years in Laramie, Wyoming, and um, I think if I had a chance to live anywhere on my own, I'd probably go back and live in Wyoming because uh, it's beautiful out there. There really are no trees. It's all plains, flat, rolling plains. Um, their highways close because of blowing and drifting snow. Um, they get some of the worst winter weather. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. You know, wind chills 40, 50 below zero. It's pretty crazy, but, um, it's beautiful out there. You know, there's maybe four, four to five people per square, square mile. At least that was the population density of Wyoming when I was there in college back in the nineties, four people per square mile. So yeah, it's, uh, Cheyenne was the biggest city in the entire state and they had a population of about 58,000. Yes, 58,000, and they were the biggest city in the state. So, yeah, Wyoming has a has a small population, but it is really pretty. Um, I spent three years there at in Laramie at the University of Wyoming. It's kind of where my grandfather graduated at. He was in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and um, he has since passed away. He passed away in 2008. My grandma passed away back in 1986 when I was a sophomore in high school. So... Um, I haven't been back to Wyoming since 2008, and uh, cause I went out there for my grandfather's funeral that year, and um, yeah, so anyway, um, I'm wearing my Wyoming shirt today, um, I wore it for the uh, Cross My Heart Super Bowl sale, so that is that, alright, so on to the flosses, let's see, so I got Weeks Dye Works Capri. I don't know if these colors are going to show up very well. Uh, Gentle Art Sampler Fed Terracotta. Yeah, cross my heart in order to store them and have more space on their wall. They kind of fold them up a little bit, but this is terracotta, kind of an orange brown. Um, sunflower. Oops. Let's pull out that out. Sunflower. It's kind of a yellow orange deep sea now the thing that I was kind of confused um the color for hands-on design lists this lists this color deep sea as weeks dye works I think it's supposed to be gassed deep sea so I bought gassed deep sea I couldn't find weeks dye works deep sea I couldn't even find the deep sea little label on the shelf so I think it was deep sea I think this will work just well just as well that's for that. That's for that. And then um, the last color that I bought for the hands-on design patterns was Punchberry. And this is not coming out really well in this light. It's kind of a pale, pale purple. It's pretty variegated. The one that I got has like some intense variegation in it. So, but those were the colors that I got for the hands-on design. Some of the colors that I needed. I'm kind of buying them a little bit at a time to kind of save, um, not have such a big gut check when I go to check out and have like, you know, 30 skeins of <laughs> gas and weak dye works. So I did get those. I, I need to put those in the, um, in with the project. Um, so while I was there, a friend of mine, she had already, she was there with me. She was at our party last night, but she was there with me. She's an avid stitcher. Um, I kind of met her at work because I had taken um, a framed piece that I had stitched and framed to work to show some coworkers, and she was sitting in the lobby and she asked to see it. And this is probably 20 years ago now. And uh, she asked to see my piece, so I showed it to her. And we talked a little bit. She was waiting for her ride to go home. And so the next day she, we, she got in and she asked um, what I was doing for lunch. And I said, well, you know, I usually just kind of take my, go get my lunch and then go upstairs and sit in one of the conference rooms just kind of by myself. She said, well, um, if it doesn't matter to you what time we go to lunch, you know, I usually take my lunch about one o'clock. Do you want to sit in the cafeteria and talk? And I was like, sure. So we started eating lunch together um, after that. And so she's been a really good stitching friend of mine for like 20 years. Um, she no longer works at our company, so I no longer get to eat lunch with her, but um her and her daughter have been meeting me at the local needle workshop on Wednesday nights for the stitch night um, when I can go. 
and um, we they got us into the board game club that we used to belong to, Columbus Area Board Game Society, also known as CABS. Um, we haven't been going to the board game society uh, meetings. We didn't go all of last year, um, maybe once or twice. Um, we haven't been paying for membership just because with everything going on two years ago, we used our membership less than half the time, and it just... We just felt last year we were going to save the money. It was kind of a good thing we didn't buy the membership last year because um, the first, basically from January through J July, we were spending pretty much every weekend at the in-laws' house um, until they both passed away. Um, but yeah, so um, they, her, um, my friend Vicky and her daughter, they. Um, they go to cabs pretty regularly, almost every meeting. Cabs gets together the first and third Friday of the month and the second and fourth Saturday. They also have, do an after turkey day where it's gaming all pretty much all weekend. Board games, card games, whatever. And, oh, sorry about that. Um, so she was in there, she was in the Super Bowl sale today when I walked in. And she was looking through the... Um, sale patterns. Well, then she went out front because she had to pick up some fabric for um, a couple of pieces that she wanted to get started. And she had purchased um, this pattern by Blackberry Lane Designs, LLC. This is the Winter Snow Owl. You guys have probably seen this. Um, I picked this up today because she was buying the fabric for it. And <laughs> I fell in love with the fabric. How many of you ever fall in love with a fabric and then say, oh, I can put that pattern on it. I'll just buy that pattern to go with the fabric I just want to get. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I did today is I saw her pick it. I kind of, she pulled out a fabric off the shelf and I was like, oh, that's really pretty. And she goes, I'm putting this on it. And she showed me the pattern and I was like, oh my God. So I bought the fabric and the pattern for Winter Snow Owl. So here's the fabric or here's the pattern. Um, really pretty. I have seen somebody on in Floss Tube Land stitch on this, stitching this, or I have seen somebody show that they have this in their in their stash. I don't know, but I got the fabric for it. Just you wait. I don't know how well this is going to show up. So this is thirty-two count. Picture this plus. Mirage. I got a 13 by 18 piece because we needed about a 10 by 10. So this is picture this plus Mirage. 32 count. Look at this modeling on this fabric, you guys. Look at this. Look at this fabric. Oh my god. Are you dead on the floor? Are you dead on the floor? It's beautiful. So that's what I'm going to stitch on. That's what I'm going to stitch on today. Yep, it smells like fabric. So that is for winter snow owl. I think that's going to be absolutely stunning, you guys. Looking forward to that. I don't know when I'll get around to stitching it. It may be something that I decide to stitch later on this year. But yes, I do have the fabric for it, and I'm putting the pattern in with the fabric. Um, so it's all together. But I do have the fabric and the pattern for Winter Snow Owl. And then this next one, my friend was also buying the pattern for because she didn't have it. But Cross My Heart has this um, sitting in their front window, done up as a pillow. And my friend walked up, asked to see what the pattern was and um she bought the fabric for it well the sh the shop today had sale had fab new fabric out on a table and there was this lavender kind of color um lugana fabric that was sitting on there beautiful purple color so my friend got this pattern today so did i Little House Needleworks, Snow White. Beautiful little thing. Looks like it'll stitch up pretty quick. This one calls for um, classic color works. White of some sort from classic color works silk. And I was like, hmm, yeah. 
And I kept thinking about that purple fabric on the new fabric table. Purple fabric on the new fabric table. This isn't going to come out right. I don't know if this the lighting on this is just not quite right. Um, the lighting in here is really off, plus the sun's kind of shining, trying to shine through the front window. But um, 32 count Lugana. Uh, hydrangea. 13 by 18 piece. 32 count Lugana. Look at this, you guys. 13 by 18, 32 count Lugana. Stunning. And it's really soft. 32 count Lugana. So it's an even weave. It's not a linen. Um, stunning. So, I am doing Little House Needleworks Snow White on this. So, just kind of wandering around, I was like, you know, I could do that on a very, I could use variegated floss for this. I could use any kind. So, I was looking at their silks. They didn't have the um, Colorworks silk in the color needed, called for. It calls for a white. I was like, you know what? I don't necessarily have to do it in a white. But, you know, doing white might be kind of fun. Um, Classic Colorworks Snowflake, or Weeks Dye Works Snowflake, you guys. Weeks Dye Works Snowflake. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but the Weeks Dye Works Snowflake has variegations of, it looks like green and pink and purple. Or maybe it's just green and lavender and white. I think that's going to be really pretty on this. And then I was like, well, maybe I might not want to do it on with like a white color. So, um, let me find a purple. Maybe I can do it as purple. I know it says snow white and it's a snow thing, but look at this, you guys. Look at that. Classic Color Works, Purple Aster. I'm probably going to end up doing the Weeks Dye Works Snowflake because Snow White is Snowflake. But, I mean, you guys, look. Beautiful. I think this is going to be really pretty. So this is going to be another um, project that I work on sometime later this year. I'm leaning more towards the snow snowflake color from Weeks Dye Works, but I don't know. But at least I have classic Color Works Purple Aster now in my stash too. So, yeah, this is for Little House Needleworks Snow White. Sorry about the glare. So, that is what I got. All right. And that kind of wraps up my Super Bowl Sunday sale stash haul from my local needle workshop. So, I'm going to put the pattern in here with this. The fabric is all in here, and it's kind of ready to go when I'm ready to start. So, that is all I have for you guys. Um, I'm not doing much of anything. I haven't really done a whole lot of um, stitching. This week I had one night of stitching and I worked on my Heaven and Earth Designs um, pattern. Um, put this kind of out of the way. Put that kind of out of the way. What do I got here? Oh, my cue snaps. Sorry, you guys. I have to rearrange everything. So I can get this out for you and show you. So I will actually show you the thing I'm going to work on today. Um, again, this is my Garan Toten Bags um, project bag. Um, this is my hands-on design February. This is where I'm at, you guys. I don't have a lot 
left to do of the words and some of the things. Um, now, I wasn't really sure what the stuff, the brown stuff inside this heart was supposed to be. But somebody suggested that it was a, like a box of chocolates. And I'm like, oh, yeah, a box of chocolates. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, I have to get February done because it's February. And, uh, well, that's what I'm going to be working on the rest of tonight, trying to get that finished so I can get it hung up on my thing on the wall. Um, I will show you that. <sighs> your, your next view of this, hopefully, will be it finished and displayed. So um, that's where I'm at with this. Um Let's see here. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So, I w I've been working on um, Heaven and Earth Designs, Four Seasons by Jassic Yerka. Jassic, I think that's, I don't know how you, how you say it. But um, this is kind of where I've got um, almost a page finish. This is the lower corner, the lower left corner where winter meets spring. And I'm kind of going to be working this way on winter until it gets to spring. And then I'll go up this way and work on spring. But, um, so this is where I'm at. Almost a page finish, you guys. All that open white space over here and down here. Um, except for this little itty bitty bump right there is one color. So I have one color left on this page to finish besides the O32 blending filament. I'm not going to put the O32 blending filament in because this next page that goes right here is mostly O32 blending filament. So I'm actually going to wait to do that until I get most of this, most of the colors in this other page over here stitched. But this is the first page on this that I've started. And um, so that's the progress I've made since the last time. I am working on this for the full coverage phonetics by the number stitch along, which um, f you can either do it for the stitch along or the challenge. The stitch along is 1,200 stitches in a given month on one project, um, full coverage project, obviously. And if you're doing 10 stitches, you have to do 2,400. So the month of January, I actually hit 2,459 stitches. So I actually finished the challenge for January on this piece. Um, the other thing that I'm doing this, using this piece for is the Stitch Around the World Challenge that is posted on, uh, I believe it is the Stitch Talk group or, um, yeah. Um, Portia Parcher, she had started this Stitch Around the World Challenge. Basically, your goal is to, throughout the entire year of 2019, your goal is to start, um, she's listed um, different stops along the way, and each stop, there is a certain number of stitches that you have to complete. And for this challenge, each stitch is one symbol on the chart. So whether you're doing half cross stitches or full cross stitches or whatever, um, as long as you mark off one symbol um, on the chart, you can count it as a stitch. So I'm actually using this piece, this piece for the Stitch Around the World Challenge. So um, I figure the um, Stitch Around the World Challenge and the Full Coverage Phonetics by the Numbers Challenge um, can kind of coincide on this piece until I decide that the uh, by the numbers challenge I want to work on a different piece but this this is going to be my progress um, anyway so you have there you have that um, I haven't made any more progress on any of the other ones um, the frosted pumpkin um, stitch along um, welcome to pumpkinville part came out for February um, on the 1st. It is the bakery. 
so I don't have a picture of it to show you here because I forgot to print print it out. But if you go to the Frosted Pumpkins website and click on their Stitch Along links, you can see what the, what the February is. I'll be sure to put the link to Frosted Pumpkin down below. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, and I don't really have much else to show you as far as um, progress on anything else. I um, haven't started anything new. Um, I may end up starting something new with the two new pieces that I, two new fabrics that I bought today, but I may not. Um, other than that, ooh, <sighs> sorry guys, that was big yawn. It's kind of, I'm kind of tired today. I may actually take a nap before I stop stitching, start stitching. But anyway, it's going on about a half hour for you guys. Um, and that's all I have today, really. Um, I don't have a whole lot going on. Um, those of you who also watch my diamond painting videos, you know that I just did a huge diamond painting unboxing video last weekend. Um, I haven't worked much on my diamond painting this week, but, oh, goodness. Sorry, you guys. Um, I haven't worked much on diamond painting either. I just haven't had time. Work's been kind of draining me out a little bit. Um, we're still in a special project until the end of February. And I would just rather not be. Um, but anyway, so my goal tonight is to work on this. Hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of the stitching done that's left on it. I actually think I probably have half the stitching left. Um, I was really hoping to have this done already, but yeah, I just haven't really been feeling like working on it. As soon as I get this done, I am going to work on March. <sighs> Oh, goodness. Sorry, you guys. I have to stop that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to work on March. And um, so hopefully that will go a little quicker than February has seemed to go. Um, other than that, I really don't have very much else to say. Um, this week, this past week, I actually went into YouTube and input floss tube number one in the search in the search box on YouTube and there's quite a few people out there that have new floss tube videos um, basically in the last two or three months so there's oh pardon me you guys it's only five o'clock and I'm thinking I'm kind of needing a nap today but um, sorry about that um, I'm not really going to apologize for being tired. It's just a fact of life, especially today. It's been kind of a, you know, just a busy weekend for us. And um, I think it's winding down. I just kind of wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to be working on February from Hands On Design Year of Celebrations. And um, not doing a whole lot else. Um, hopefully I'll have another video for you coming up this next weekend. Hopefully of a finish for February and a start for March and I may even have a diamond painting update video I'd really like to get that Princess Mononoke diamond painting finished I have a lot to do on it but um, I'd really like to get it finished so I can get a couple of the other ones started that I really want to get done um, we have no immediate plans coming up uh, other than the fact that in two weekends is our wedding anniversary so we are going out for sushi um, we normally switch off between the melting pot which is a fun new restaurant and sushi which is uh, something else that we really like and it's kind of our tradition every year to switch off so this year is sushi we went to melting pot last year and um, we're looking forward to that um, it's our 23rd wedding anniversary so that's interesting um don't really have much else for you guys i know ohio roller derby their season starts up in march um i also have to get on and check sling for the espn packages sling tv um so i could start watching um college softball i may actually do that after i after i'm done with this video and while i'm um, uploading it to edit 
Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, I don't, I don't know what my plans are for the next couple of weeks other than I'm hoping to have a video for you next week showing February done and anything else I start and work on. Um, other than that, I really don't have a whole lot going on and, uh, we'll just, we'll just kind of play it by air and see where I'm at. So, hey, I just snap time. Mm. So anyway, yeah, um, don't really have much else t to talk to you about. Happy Super Bowl again. If you're watching the Super Bowl, I hope your team wins, whoever team that happens to be. Um, I'm not watching the Super Bowl. I'm going to stitch and probably watch Flosstube or Netflix or something. But uh, anyway, if you're out there in Flosstube land, happy Super Bowl Sunday. I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you soon. Keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. And until next time, stitch all the things. Oh, excuse me. Buy all the stash. And just do it all. Take care. So hi, Flastube. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. It is Monday, February 4th at approximately 10.08 p.m. I'm coming to you with a little quick update. Um, those of you who have watched my video, my more recent videos know that I'm in the Garon Toten Bags Gram Guard of the Month Club, and I got my Gram Guard of the Month in today for February. So I figured I would do a quick opening of the Gram Guard for you. Um, I will put the link to the Garon Toten Bags Facebook page where you can get more information on joining either the Gram Guard of the Month or the Project Bag of the Month. Um, I have been toying with the idea of also joining the um, Project Bag of the Month. Um, as you know, I won their um, monthly Grime Guard of the Month drawing for December, and I got a um, Project Bag, one of their Project Bags that matches the Grime Guard. Um, and I really like their Project Bags. It's the only Project Bag, actual handmade Project Bag that I own. So I'm actually looking forward towards getting some more. So anyway, here is um, the Garon Tote and Bags Grime Guard for February. Um, I don't care if you see the address. My husband's bringing Rosie back. Hi, Rosie Boo. And that was a pain in the neck to get her to do anything. Oh, I bet. Yeah, Rosie, Rosie's a mommy's dog, likes to go walking with mommy, but mommy didn't go walking. So, um... Don't go walking with daddy when mommy's not around. Yeah, see, she's totally a mommy's dog. But, um, anyway, so here's the Grime Guard of the Month. Here we go. Go see daddy, get your treat. Where are the treats? It is February Grime Guard of the Month. I have an 11 by 17, um... I got a second 11 by 17 to add to my collection. Um, most of my Grime Guards going forward should be the 11 by 11 size. So I have a February Grime Guard of the Month, 11 by 17. And it is hearts for February. Hearts for February. February hearts. It's very pretty. I like this a lot. This is really nice. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. It smells so pretty. I don't know what they do. Mm. It smells so pretty. It has a nice, it has a nice scent to it. So Grim Guard of the Month. Um, this actually matches the um, project bags that they also sell for the month. Um, it's the same fabric, the same hearts. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, but it's hearts, hearts everywhere for February. So that is the Garon Toten Bag Grime Guard of the Month. All right. I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm going to add this to the video that I recorded yesterday right before the Super Bowl. So I hope you enjoy this and um, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.